This lesson is all about joining anchor points in Illustrator. So here I have two line segments. And if I want to join them together into one path, I first need to select the two open endpoints that I want to join with the direct selection tool. So we can see we have two anchor points selected. And now I'll go up to the object menu and choose path join. And the keyboard shortcut is command or control J. And Illustrator automatically puts a line segment between those two points. Sometimes this is what you want, but other times you may want those two endpoints to be joined into a single point without the extra line segment. So I'm going to delete this. And in that case, what you need to do is align these two anchor points, one directly on top of the other. And there are a couple ways you can do this. One, you can let Illustrator average the position of these two anchor points for you. So go up to the object menu with those two anchor points selected, then choose path and right below the join command is the average command. And the shortcut is also command or control J and you add the option or alt key to that. This opens a dialog box where both is chosen by default. And this means Illustrator will move the position of these two points to an average between the two on both the horizontal and vertical axis. So click OK. Now you can see those two points have moved. And now we can go back up to the object menu to path and then join. And as you can see, we've got a corner widget there. So it looks like we have a good join. Let's grab this anchor point and move it around. And yes, now the two anchor points have become one. So the average command is really helpful when you're joining points in Illustrator, but sometimes you can just align them on your own. So let me delete this and go ahead and draw two more line segments like this. And you can do this just by moving one anchor point over the other, but it's really easy to miss. And you may need to just sort of zoom in and use outline mode to look where your two points are. And you can see these two are not aligned. So if I try to join them, Illustrator will put a tiny little line segment between those two points. So to align your points perfectly, it's really helpful to turn on Smart Guides, that's Command or Control U, or Snap to Point. I'm going to do this using the Properties panel. So I'll tap V on my keyboard to get my selection tool, make sure that nothing is selected. And when I go over to the Properties panel, I can see right here I have my snapping options. And here's snap to point. So whenever you want to align anchor points, turn on snap to point, then get your white arrow and grab an anchor point and you'll see they magnetically snap together when you get really close. So just use snap to point and you'll see that snapping happen. Then you can select those two endpoints. And this time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut command or control J to join them. And then I can switch to preview mode by using the shortcut command or control Y. And I can see that this is a good join. Now, if you want to go back to drawing, it's probably a good idea to turn snap to point off. So you could go back to the properties panel, but let's find the command in the view menu. So if we go up to view and all the way down to the bottom, here we have snap to point. And it's checked, so I'm going to release on this and that will turn it off. Now I have a shortcut for you in case this is something that you do all day long, and a lot of people do when you're working with technical artwork, very often you have to join a lot of anchor points. So here is a really great shortcut for averaging and joining in one step. First, using your direct selection tool, select the two anchor points, and then it's like a combination of the average and join keyboard shortcut. So on a Mac, that would be shift option command J. And that joins and averages the points at the same time. So we can see that's a good join. Now I'll undo that and let's do the PC command. And that is shift alt control J like that. So that's a shortcut that can save you some time. 
Now let's look at the join tool. First, I'll draw some lines with the pencil tool like this. And the join tool is located underneath the pencil tool. So let's go ahead and get out the join tool. It's down here at the bottom. And the join tool is a little bit like the eraser tool in that it depends on what you have selected. So if you have nothing selected here, the join tool works really well and you can work your way around these paths here and just kind of scrub off the corners with the tool and that creates these really nice little corner point joins. Now I'll just draw some straight line segments and we'll look at this again. If I have two line segments here selected and I get the join tool and sort of scrub through them like that, I get that nice join. But if I have a line segment or anything in my file selected over here and I try to scrub, I don't get a join. So just be careful of what you have selected. But the join tool does an amazing job of taking overlapping paths and trimming and joining them at the same time. So that's joining anchor points and joining path segments in Illustrator. This lesson is an excerpt from my Heart of Illustrator course. It's a beginning course, and you can find it on my website at lauracoilcreative.com. It's part of my all access membership, which includes courses, live Zoom calls, and community. My name is Laura Coyle. Thank you for watching.